Okay, emphysema, a lung disease. The cause of emphysema, there is a very strong causal link being established with smoking, although there are some other causes. The disease itself. Now, in emphysema, the main problem is that elastic fibres, so elastic protein fibres in the walls of the alveoli are actually destroyed. So there is destruction of elastic fibres in the walls of the alveoli. Now this means that the alveoli lose their ability to recoil, spring back into shape when you breathe out. So alveoli unable to recoil. Recoil, very good word there to use in exams. Now because the alveoli can't recoil, this means that less air is expelled from the lungs when we breathe out. This means that, in a sense, fairly stagnant air remains in the alveoli and it's quite high in CO2 and quite low in oxygen. This means that there's actually a reduced diffusion gradient. between the blood and the alveoli. Now, a second problem is that because of this loss and this damage to the elastic fibres of the alveoli, when people breathe in, the alveoli can actually rupture. So rupture, another good word to use in an exam, an alternative is burst. So you can see here on the artist's impression We've actually got here normal alveoli. Here, you can see there is some destruction due to bursting. Now, this means that there is less surface area, so we get reduced surface area of alveoli. Now, if you can look at this here, these are two thin sections seen with a light microscope of alveoli tissue. This is from a healthy, normal individual and at the same magnification here from a person with fairly advanced emphysema. You can see here all the tiny alveoli, all the different membranes that are available for gas exchange. Here, much larger air spaces, far less membrane and you know the, the reduction in surface area is quite noticeable. Okay, now the combined effect here of the reduced diffusion gradients and the reduced surface area of the alveoli means that the rate of diffusion of oxygen into the bloodstream and obviously carbon dioxide back out is greatly reduced. So we've got less oxygen entering the blood, which means less oxygen available for respiration and this can lead to some of the very unpleasant effects like tiredness okay as well as quite a lot of serious uh, symptoms that go along with emphysema